britain's nuclear weapons tests were an opportunity to witness the world's greatest fireworks display that's what twenty five thousand mainly conscripts were told as more than twenty detonations took place in australia and the south pacific at london's high court survivors of those tests half a century back launched a landmark case claiming multi-million pounds in damages for being used in the words of their QC as human radiation detectors causing a catalogue of health problems later in life. George Armstrong then a 28 year old army engineer was filmed being checked for contamination after one of the five explosions he witnessed. Today he recalled symptoms that began whilst he was still serving on Christmas Island. Well, I played football and jumped up to head the ball and felt pain rather than you know, like a glancing header. Went like that and there was a handful of hair there. Well, I wasn't the only one. We used to shower in a row. I mean, it was only a, an inch pipe with a few branches off. Several of us stand in a row and you see all the hair, the different colour hairs floating down the drain. Ben Brown QC said thousands of troops had played games in radioactive dust, swum in irradiated sea and eaten contaminated fish. Although it's alleged aircraft and ships were ordered into the nuclear cloud, the Ministry of Defence maintains cleaning was thorough and no service people were exposed to dangerous radiation. And anyway, the law does not allow compensation claims so long after the event. This preliminary hearing will take three weeks with a full trial perhaps three years away. The veterans say they're prepared to wait, not only for their own sake, but uniquely in a civil action for that of their children and grandchildren too. Jeff Mead, Sky News at the High Court.